Thank you for coming. Thank you to Love and the Sandwich for an excellent performance. Here at Hugel Venture Capital, we believe in funding the best ideas that a sharing economy has to offer and harnessing the power of startups like yours in order to conquer the world. <coughs> I mean, in order to provide lasting global solutions in the information age. <laughs> <coughs> right, anyway, our Hugel IO Developer Conference is coming up in a few months, and we're looking for the brightest new startup mashups to incubate. Who's up first? Hit me with your escalator pitch. Don't you mean elevator pitch? Actually, we've pivoted away from using that word. Our Google employee metrics have found elevators to be bad for productivity, and we've replaced they all been replaced with ergonomically optimized escalators. <laughs> Plus, the word escalate, it's, it's more disruptive, don't you think? <laughs> Anyhow, get on with it. Um, um, well then, um, uh, um, well, my start. Seeking to crowdsource to optimize Too long. Obvious... Next! <laughs> okay, so it's like Tinder, but for pizza companies. No! <laughs> That's <laughs> all I need to do. Next. <laughs> it's like Pandora, but for cats. Also, already a thing. Crap, that was my idea. Oh, crap! <laughs> okay, so we're like Uber, but for mattress salesmen. This is outline your IPO projections. What? This isn't comic sand! We have a model. And that's don't be evil. Next! <laughs> Picture this. You know Nest, the home automation thing? But we're bird's nests! Wow. Avian embedded systems. I love it. What's your name? Alyssa P. Hacker. Alyssa, you're hired. Wait, Dr. Jen. Wait, next. what? Hired? I thought I was getting funding and publicity, not getting bought out. This is a job interview, guys. You are going to be great for Hugo. Don't worry. Here, I just need you to sign these ten forms. Hey, that did it all. Good to see you again. Thanks for meeting me here. I'm sorry we had to meet at Hugo HQ, but you really wouldn't want to meet me at my place. I share a room with about ten other people. I gotta say, this job is a lot more horrible than I imagined. Yeah, um, <laughs> sounds positively soul crushing. Whatever happened to your big idea? You were gonna make the world a better place through avian embedded systems or something like that? They stole my idea! Wait, what? Well, technically I signed it away. And they gave me half a million dollars for it, but it's not fair! They hired me for my idea, and I thought I was gonna work on it, using Fugle's resources to develop it. But instead, they put a team of 50 people on it and put me to work developing better chat rooms. God, I hate people. Ugh, I know what you mean. I'm so glad I'm not working here. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna be chained down in no corporate idea factory. They've got no soul. All they can see is the bottom line. Like, they think just because they have a nice building complex and these complimentary kale smoothies and the world's largest user base and ergonomically designed escalators and some of the smartest AI experts in the world. You didn't get that internship, did you? I don't understand it! I even made for the cake shape like the internet. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that sucks. You know what's the worst? You know this big conference we're having tomorrow? The product we built out of my idea is getting demoed at the keynote with us. My product? They haven't done crap with it except give it a shiny logo and mandatory hangouts integration. They haven't even fixed the security hole I warned them about months ago. Wait, is this the one you were telling me about? Yeah, this yeah, yeah, that one. I offered to keep working on it. I practically begged them. But no, they said, you just keep working on chat windows. You're doing a really nice job with those chat windows. Don't worry about this. We'll take it from here. I swear to God, if I hear... Ben? Where'd you go? Oh, yes, yes, I'll show them all. I'll show them these arrogant tools. I just need to... Wait, how am I going to call him? He doesn't carry a cell phone. Huh. Oh, I know, I know. <clears throat> I love Linux. Linux is the best operating system. <laughs> it's free and it's open source. Doesn't cost I, I guess I can interject for a moment. What you're referring to as Linux should probably be referred to as GNU Linux, or as I take it to call it lately, GNU plus Linux. You see, Linux is a, a kernel of an operating system. 
you, we can humiliate them. We can seize control of their big screen, set up a Skype call, and Skype? then... Skype? No way! <laughs> That's non-free freedom-denying surveillance services of software substitute! No, 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 no. I know. Why don't we take their slides, change all their S's to dollar signs? That, that'll show. That seems a little juvenile. Uh, wait, actually I suppose... Oh no, wait, I know what to do. It'll be even better. Oh, we are going to bring these cretins to their knees. <laughs> but, really, enough about the pixel. Let's be real. It's a phone, it has a headphone jack, it doesn't have much else, but it's from Google. So, you're gonna buy it. Now, I want to spend the rest of the keynote address on something much more special. Something revolutionary. There you are, you're late. Oh, yeah, what? Look, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, of course I'm ready. you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I, I just wanted to look over things one more time. You know, to make sure I'm remembering everything correctly. You see, this is why I said we should have had our AI as a presenter. And I, AI never forgets. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. Just don't screw this up, okay? <laughs> we don't want the headline tomorrow to be Fumbling Presenter Forgets the Slides. No, we want it to be Fugle Unveils Innovative Cross Platform Avian Embedded Systems Cloud. Sure, yeah, cloud platform, I know. Look, I swear I've forgotten it already. Forget I said it. Oh, 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 I will. You're going to roll with those slides, or so help me, you're fired. If anything looks unfamiliar to you, just think. What's more likely, that hackers have infiltrated our system and edited all the slides while you weren't looking, or that you were an idiot that failed to properly prepare for this? Roll with the slides. I got it. <laughs> Remember when we lost when we launched Google Floss? This is gonna be even bigger than that. So, without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to Sam, who is going to introduce our fabulous new product. Take it away, Sam. Thank you, everybody! Thank you! Good evening! How's it going? Are we having a good time? That's what I want to hear. Great. That's just perfect. Now, some of you may know that Fugal technology is everywhere these days. It's in my car. It's in my house. It's even in my dental floss. Uh, but you know, there's still one more place we haven't gone, at least until today. And that place is... The Cloud! <laughs> Services uses everyday pigeons and their far reaching transportation infrastructure to more securely store your data in, uh, in my butt. <laughs> yes, Don't say that word. Say it disruptively, add to the pod in real time. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Anything, anything. Uh, uh, flip the bits, reverse the polarity, trace the signal. Uh, and hey, we've gotta stop him before he makes a mockery of us all. I'll do my best. Maybe he teaches us a 005. <laughs> oh, and also, we can't stop the show now. The presentation's already started. Now, it's only in beta right now. But we've already outfitted it with a very sleek user interface. A stunning <laughs> set of algorithms that watch you while you sleep. And of course, mandatory Hangouts integration. <laughs> We're confident that this kind of infrastructure will empower all of you to build amazing, visionary, butt-based apps. <laughs> In conclusion, Fugal Avian Butt Services. Because how better to get into my butt? <laughs> Dude, I couldn't believe it was amazing. The presenter looked confused, and you know, I was a little confused. But I'm convinced it's going to change the world. Dude, take a look at this TechCrunch article. The mysterious new fuel butt product, what we know so far. Twitter is raving. It's out there, yeah. Visionary stuff like this always is. 
dude, it just makes zero sense. You know, like, they're like flying pigeons from like Wumba to like a different button. It's just like, like, how is that like any more like efficient or I don't know, like robust? It just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> dude, this is so not bad. When have we ever cared about whether things make sense? <laughs> you have to give these things time. This is pioneering technology. Fugo would have put so much development energy into this if it wasn't a smart idea. I can't wait to be part of the beta. Right, man. Right. Did we ever figure out what happened? We traced the hack back to inside Fugo headquarters itself. It's hard to know who could have been responsible. It could have been anyone. Excuse me, excuse me. Hi. I think I know who might have pulled the hack. I'm so sorry. I think it was my friend, Ben Bitzidol. I met up with him last night. He must have... Ben Bitzidol. That name sounds familiar. Is he the guy who sent us the cake? Oh, yes! I remember that now. Let me pull up his phone number. Your, your days of corporate dominance are at an end! The world has seen your humiliation and will reject your freedom-denying, user and shackling ways. Goodness, <laughs> triumph over evil. Triumph! That's me! I hacked your slides! What do you got to say about it now? You want a job? <laughs> wait, 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 what? what? <laughs> Our stock prices are up 15%. Those are the kind of results we love. We want talented people like you to invent the future of people. Our records say we've rejected you in the past, but that must have been some kind of error. How would you like to work on our self-driving cars, ultra-deep learning systems, or experimental mind control? Or, since you know so much about our alien systems, how would you like to be in charge of developing? Whoa, 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 wait, how come you're not letting me work on this? It was my idea. Are, are you working on chat windows or something? That's incredibly important. Go away. Listen. <laughs> and you're doing such a great job with them. I'm just, I'm just doing a great, great job. We wouldn't want Apple to have better chat windows than us. <laughs> hey, Ben, Ben, Ben. What do you say? Stop. Ben doesn't want to work for you soulless soups. Ben, please. Are you kidding? I've been dreaming of 